This is the hip thrust with um, the large circle loop band as resistance. If we're gonna go ahead and get into our hip thrust, which you should be familiar with, you know, upper back on the bench, shoulder blades on the bench, drive through the heels and up and hip thrust. With the bands, we're gonna hip thrust through and it's gonna create more tension on this last little bit of range of motion. So we can go ahead and use the bands, either just get into them as is, it depends on the resistance of the bands. So this is a light, very light band with super light tension, so it's too loose. I go ahead and just put one over, you know, put one over my foot, make sure it's wrapped around my leg. It's gonna come up over my hips and then put my other foot in there. Band is gonna have some tension here as I get into it. So there is gonna be a little bit of an adjustment in order to get the position correct. Come down into my hip thrust positioning. Bring that band up here. You can hold it if you want. Up and then as I push through the band, it's gonna get harder looking down my body. So it is rubber, it's gonna stick quite well. Drive through the heels, up, squeeze your glutes, little pelvic tilt under, drive through those heels, and then complete for the number of reps, which because it's a band, we tend to do a little bit higher reps. However, you can add load here on the top with the, a dumbbell or some weight. This is the thrust with a resistance band. Lighter colors means lighter tensions. Generally, darker colors are heavier tension. So give it a go, complete for the number of reps, and decide if you need to add more resistance by changing the band, increasing reps, or even increasing the range of motion.